In this video we will be adding two 10 foot by 40 foot lean twos to an existing 20 by 40 open pole barn kit. The pitch on these lean twos are 212. Now, place a mark on the ground 10 feet out from your corner post. Your stakes will be driven in the ground 18 inches off of this mark. Do this on all four corners. Look through the transit and have someone hold a tape measure vertically. Pick a number that's easy to remember and of your holder move the tape measure up or down. <laughs> then mark it nice on the stake. Job. I use 60 inches. Now, place a batter board on that mark and screw it on that end. Then use a level and once the board is level screw the other end. Now, place the second batter board beside the one you just leveled. Place a screw on that end. Now, use the level, then screw the other end. Your first batter board is now set up. Repeat this step at each corner. Only move the transit side to side. This will keep everything nice and level. It is also very important that you drive the stakes firmly in the ground. Alright, now stretch the string from one side to the other. Pull the string very tight. Have a spotter notify you when the string is running right beside the two existing posts on the gable end. Then mark this on your batter boards. Now place a nail in both of these marks and tie your string tight. Notice our string is level with our original level from the existing building. Next, repeat this on the other side of the building. Now, measure out 10 foot from the outside of the post and mark it on the string. Now go to the other end and do the same. From one end of the building to the other, cross the two marks you just made on the string and mark it on the batter boards. Next, place nails on your marks and tie off the string very tight. Now you need to go down the string and mark it off the same way you laid out the main building. Here it is outside corner to center of the post. Center to center. Center to center. Then center to outside.
use an auger to dig all of your holes. We recommend 4 feet deep on all of our buildings. Place a block or some gravel at the bottom of the hole so the post isn't sitting directly in the dirt. Now set all your posts in the holes. Be very careful not to knock too much dirt in the hole. Now, carefully position the pole so it is plumb on all sides and sitting flush with the strings. When it's sitting right, add a few shovels, unfill and check it again. Continue filling and packing the fill until it's packed as tight as possible. Here we mix two bags of concrete in with the fill. Two foot down to that mark right there is two is ten foot. A ten foot lean to on a two twelve drops twenty inches. So he's measuring it was 120 inches right there. He's measuring 100 inches from his level mark. He's marking that and they're gonna come back and cut the tops of these poles off. These small lean-to trusses can easily be lifted by one person. We use through bolts for most of our building kits. Once all of the trusses are up, you can start installing the roof purlins. These purlins just drop in the clips, and you screw the board through the holes in the clips. This is a very simple and strong system. Now, mark your overhang the same as you did to the main building. Mark it at the top and the bottom. Then use a chalk line to mark each purlin. Next use a speed square to make the plumb cuts on the purlins. Then, cut them off at your marks.
Now cut and install the barge rafter. The first trim you install is fascia. It goes all the way around the perimeter. Don't install it too tight, or it will cause it to wrinkle. You also don't need too many screws in this, because the other trim that goes over this is also screwed into it. Next, install the drip edge. The drip edge goes only at the bottom, under the panels. Overlap it about an inch. This is how you notch the face shop out to go around your overhand tails. It's pretty simple. Now install a wood block to the bottom on each side and run a string from each piece as shown. This is to make sure your panels stay straight and to help set your overhang. It is now time to install your metal roofing panels. Start the first one straight with the string and should be very close to flush with the edge. The bottom is more important. Once the panel is straight put a screw in the bottom and the top keeping the panel from sliding in either direction. As you place each panel, mark each rafter with a pencil. Then come back and screw the roof off later. Be very careful to not over or under tighten the screws. If it's too tight the dimples will be obvious when looking at it from the ground. Too loose and the washer will move. Now install the gable trim. You need some type of sealant where the joint is and where the screw goes. This sealant is hidden. We chose not to use it since this is a display. You will need 
to install some more 2x6 nailing strips up to support your flash and to give you something to screw to if you plan on putting siding between the two loops. Next, install the end wall flashing as shown. Here is the screw pattern we use. We screw in the flat and skip every other rib making sure every other screw line is beside an overlap rib. Notice the screw at the very bottom in the center. It is way over tightened and will have to be loosened. When installing our buildings in a high wind area we recommend placing screws every rib. Thank you for watching our videos. Please be sure to watch all of our videos. We look forward to doing business soon.